Now we move on to one of the more important packages, perhaps Mesa, which, um, well, as you can see, it says there's an OpenGL 3D graphics library. Um, it says it's updated relatively often. You may want to use the latest available 21.2.x Mesa version. I'm just going to download what's in the book. It's what they've um, published a good book against. It's been tested. Um, having said that, there's probably going to be some dependencies against this package. So let's take a look at them on the web browser. There's a patch, a recommended patch. Um, installs two demo programs not needed if you installed the Mesa demos package ok um, I'll install the patch because the package is not in the book so required we've got two requirements here libdrm and mako that's got some optional dependencies Looks like for some tests, and this one's a Python module. Um, some reason that's not gone to the correct uh, location. So we're looking for something called Mako. So let's do Control F. Oh, wrong one again. Uh, Control F, search for Mako. There it is. That needs markup safe. Oh, again, looks like these are broken. So there seems to be an alphabetical order, which is handy. There's markup safe. It hasn't got any dependencies, so those two Python modules and libdrm. Libdrm will have to be rebuilt because there's some other um, packages there possibly required. Yeah, to build the manual pages. So it's, again, it's something you probably want the documentation. Maybe the tests as well. Um, that's required. There's some recommended packages. Again, I'm going to try and avoid these. Um, I'm just hoping it doesn't break anything when we actually get the windowing environment up. And there's some optional there. Some of them look quite useful. So let's proceed with the first Python module, Markup Safe. So let's shrink that down there. I'll go back to the top of the uh, document to the contents and look for mark up no it won't be here sorry you've got to look for uh, python modules and it will be inside that page and as you can see there's another set of contents here so we want my uh, actually if I go to mako that will take us to markup safe and that will be a bit easier to locate it. So let's download this module. Save to disk. You'll notice all the Python modules start with a capital letter. And generally these don't take too long to install. So installation is this command here, or rather build to build it. That was very quick. And as the root user to install it, um, that's it. Install programs none, but there's some directories and so on. So I'm going to make a note of the fact that downloaded or rather installed markup safe.
and then move on to or go back, I'm going to press the left arrow, go back to the Mako package. So I'll download that, save that, go back, so I'll tidy this one up. I think this always happens with Python modules. And extract the Mako package. And installation just looks like there's no program to build it, it's just one installation command. Let's go back, check there's nothing else. No, nope, that's it. Okay, so that's Mako installed. So back to the top level menu, or the contents rather. Markup saves done. Mako is done. So now we go on to libdrm. So let's look for that libdrm. There it is. So we know what the dependencies are. We're going to ignore the optional ones for now. Download the package. Save the disk. And go back. So it looks like it needs a separate build. Let's check if there's any other options here. Valgrind we haven't got. Supports UDEV instead of make nod. Right, that's already set. Yeah, these options are already set how we would want them. Oops, let's get these included. Right, so that's built. Let's run the tests. And once again, we've got a fa oh, it's not actually a failure. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be a failure with the test itself. It's something to do with the scripting, the looks of it. Whether there's... Um, a problem with Ninja itself. I don't know where to look here for the test results actually. Yeah, that's strange. Um, maybe that's something I could look at when we're in the window environment, just have a little nosy around, maybe rebuild Mizen and Ninja possibly in case that was a problem. Um, but for now, um, as you saw, all the tests passed. It seems to be either the bit where it produces a summary or just as it's ending, it seems to be producing this error. So that looks okay apart from that final error. So let's install the package. Yep, it's fine. 
there's no configuration to do so we can tidy this up now okay let's check this so we've just got to go back to Mesa now look for that with forward slash MESA there it is download save to disk right the recommended patch this is for the test packages this would be useful once we're in the um, GUI environment to run to test to make sure that the uh, GL the, the acceleration is working so save to disk this is lots of recommended and lots of optional packages to install um, I've just realized I haven't been marking off my packages so that was libdrm uh, I'll have to find it on the browser, just check where it's supposed to be. DRM. Oh, it is under X libraries. DRM. And this needs a rebuild. DRM. So it's after optional. Okay, let's have a look. Right, I might actually look at this on the web browser. There's a lot of information there to take in. So the instructions below that assume that LLVM with the R600 AMD GPU and host backends and runtime type information are installed. You'll need to modify the instructions if you choose not to install all of these. For an explanation of Gallium 3D, see that. Let's have a quick look at that. So, um, obviously if you've got any of these graphics cards, then you probably want Gallium 3D, this is an older chip, um, so um, an older Intel chip, there's no additional graphics card, um, so it discounts all of these, no NVIDIA, no AMD, it's not an Intel Iris uh, for generation 8, um, it does say free and open source GPU device drivers. Well, that's just the definition of that. So I don't think, for my particular installation, it matters that, uh, or I don't need Gallium to be enabled. Um, but obviously, you may want to enable it. So there's information there about how to limit the build so you're not building stuff that you don't need. Yeah, modify the commands below for your desired drivers. The drivers listed below will cover most modern video cards and virtual machines. For help selecting drivers, see this link here. For Intel drivers, specific, specifically Crocus for i965 Gen 4 through to Haswell, Iris for Broadwell and later. So this is a Haswell, so it looks like Crocus is the code name for 
the chip that I have. Is this just going to take us to a generic web page or is it going to take us to something useful? Yeah, it's fortunately um, not really that helpful. Um, what I do find useful, especially for Gen 2, um, there's a wiki on Type of the wrong keyboard again. Uh, go back there. Yep, there's a wiki on Intel graphics. Um, in fact, it's the Gen 2 wiki, come to think of it. It's got a lot of information on is it this one here. On the capabilities. Yeah, this table here is really useful. So you can find your chip here. So has what? Well, oh, yeah, this doesn't really tie up. Actually, what I've just read. Um, oh, this. Yeah, th this is confusing. This Gen Four it's talking about here must be the. CPU generation, not the GPU generation, because Haswell are 4000 series chips. Um, but you can see the generation here is the graphics generation. So the 810 and 815 were the first integrated graphics that um, Intel produced with their chips. I can't remember what chips they were now. Um, around the time of the Pentium 3, I think. Possibly Pentium 2. Um, yeah, I'm not sure the uh, tables are going off the screen. Oh, actually, that says GMA th Gen 3 there. First generation chips at 810. Yeah, so these are the Um, 1998, so yes, that would be around the Pentium 2, I think, time, so they're well old, but um, you can see from this table that the Haswell chips, which are Generation 4 CPUs, have actually got Generation, what they call 7.5 GPUs, but more importantly, you can see what support they've got, so for OpenGL, it supports version 4.5, which looks like the latest version. For GLES, which is like the embedded system, it supports 3.1 and so on. Uh, Vulkan support, it's got partial support, but it supports VA API, which is worth knowing. And you can see that the Intel chipset is compatible with 965, but not the Iris. So that does tie up with what it says here. Crocus for i965 Gen 4 through to Haswell and then you can see Iris for anything later. So that would mean that um, Crocus should be sufficient for the Gallium driver. Um, so it looks like there may be some support for that. And the DRI driver is obviously going to be I-965. So I shall set those two options um, and I'll have to make a note because I'll be rebuilding this. It does say about the back ends for LLVM. Um, so that may have some impact on how this gets compiled. Uh, it does say here if you just want to build the Gallium drivers to set DRI drivers to an empty string. So it's just two double quotes. Um, and you can use auto to build all the DR drive, DRI drivers. OK. 
Okay, and then what options have we got here? Doesn't look like there's anything extra there. Apart from, there's one here for tests called Tesco to be enabled and to run the test issued Ninja test. So you can see, yeah, if you build the tests, so you have to explicitly build them. So I'll be doing that. Have to remember to do that and to run Ninja test afterwards. There's some that were known to fail. So, okay, let's start working on this now then. Um, just shrink this down. Okay. So, let's expand the tarball first of all. Okay, that's that patch stopping us from extracting that. While that's doing that, I'll create these files. So I'm only after the croakers here for my chip. You'll obviously have to work out what you need for your own chipset. Let's go into here, set this as crocus. Um, and just a reminder to get to that page, I typed in um, Gen 2 Wiki Intel Graphics. It was the first link, this Intel Gen 2 Wiki. And just a little way down, maybe a screen or so, this page is here. So you can look up to find, as I say, what um, chipset you've got um, to find out you know, where yours lies. But um, I think there should be enough information in the Mesa page for you to make decisions, just if you want some more information, that Gen 2 page is quite quite useful. So we've set Gallium Driver, or Gallium DRV to Crocus. I just set, need to set the DR Driver to i965. And I think, I'm, oops, I'm hoping that's all I'll need to set. So let's copy these commands in to build it. And also remember that I need to add in the tests true. And finally, I can add in these last bits here and run Ninja. In fact, I'm going to run it up to there to see if there's any output at the end which tells me what's... Okay, what's this here? SW Rast Vulcan requires Gallium SW Rast. Don't know what that means. Let's have a look here. Is there anything I've missed? All oh, right, so it looks like LLVM is required for Gallium 3D Nouveau. And that's SW Rast, I'm imagining that's software raster, yes. Sometimes referred to as LLVM pipe. So it looks like I'm going to have to set uh, the Gallium drivers to empty string initially. And the next time I build this, I'll build that in. Let's see if that fixes this. So I need to remove these options and rerun the configure. No, it still needs it. it looks like I'm going to have to unfortunately build LLVM. You can see why this is recommended 
installation. Choose not to install these. Oh, I've done these patches, have I? That might be part of it, right? Let me start afresh. So I'm going to run the patch in because I want the demos. And this other set command is to switch to using Python 3 instead of Python 2. Um, I'm going to set the Gallium driver back to Crocus, but I don't think this is going to do anything actually. Uh, let's read this again. So measurements above and the contents below are for a full build. Don't know what it means by measurements. Many people do not wish to install drivers they cannot use, so the following paragraphs explain how to limit the drivers and give an example which can be reduced or amended if necessary. Now select the drivers you wish to install. For the x86, the available Gallium drivers are auto. In 20, so this ah, so in this version it does not select Crocus. In Auto does not select Crocus. Alternatively, a choice from Crocus. Da, 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 da. The latter is recommended if you wish to intend to run the system under QEMU. The non gallium DRI drivers available in X86 are auto. Alternatively, a choice from I915, I965, new, I did it there. So I've set I965, but it seems to be wanting to use SW REST. So I guess I could try setting that as empty, but the platforms, the window systems available for x86 or x11, Wayland and surfaceless. By not specifying anything, the Mise on Build system will build for all these platforms. If you do, if you have the dependencies identical as if you'd specify different platforms equals auto. So, do I need to set D platforms as well then, by the looks of it? Although Nuvo can be built for both Gallium and DRI, the 915 driver can only be built for one or the other. Right, it's quite complicated this. Um, so I've set the Gallium DRV, let me just set the I965 again and recall this build command, oh, sorry, configure command together with the make build directory because I haven't created that yet. And I'm going to add in. this D platforms and I just want to build for X11 so rather than get it to build see if that makes any difference so add that in and the option it says there are lowercase X11 see if that helps no so I'm wondering now if this comment about um, although Nuvo drivers can be built for both Gallium and DRI, the 915 driver can only be built for one or the other. So I'm wondering if the 915 and Crocus are related to the 965. So I'm going to try and set 
gallium as an empty string again and rerun this configure no it's still uh, saying Vulcan requires gallium and yet I've told it not to oh no it's Wayland sorry uh, so how do I tell it not to do Vulcan Oh yes, it's trying to build Falcon here, one of the installed libraries. Um, right, I'll try something else. Let's try minus D Falcon equals disabled. Uh, It's not unknown option. All oh, the value of new options can be set with reconfigure. So do I need to put reconfigure in as well? Okay, um, I'm going to clean this out, rerun this without reconfigure. No, problem counts as SW REST Vulcan requires Gallium SW REST. Let's have a look at this log. See if there's any more information. Not a great deal. Let's try to soften these around. So we've got Gallium driver set, but not DRI drivers. See what difference that makes. No, it's almost as if it's ignoring them. I have a feeling that this is down to the fact that I haven't got LLVM installed on the system uh, purely because of this bit here. The instructions below seem that LLVM are installed with these host backends. 
We need to modify the instructions if you choose not to install all of these. Uh, let's have another look at this, see if it makes sense. That's gone to the bottom. No, this really is about the system and not any detail about how to configure it. So I'm just looking at LLVM, see what this requires. I thought we have a load of dependencies. It looks like I might not be able to avoid building this. I'm hoping that's what will be required. Yeah, I, th I think it might be LVM. Um, I'm going to do one last test. Let's tidy this. Let's put auto in there. And auto in here as well. I think it was auto. Let's have another look. Yeah, auto and auto. I'll build without this option, so that should try and build everything. And see, I think this will fail again. Oh no, it hasn't. Interesting. So that tells me there's an up another option in there that I need to enable. Oh right, okay, here we go. LLVM not available. So runtime dependency. So it's found these modules, if you like, dependency. The DRM. Right, so now let me do some experimenting. Set that to Crocus. Rerun. So that didn't like being set to Crocus, it needed auto. Let's try the DRI drivers, which was set to was it I965, I think. 
Yep, I nine six five. I nine six five. Okay, so it's something to do with the gallium. And it's failed at the same place and it is because of LLVM. Let's try and track down what it needs from here. I wonder if it's this SW rest. Uh, but then consequently that's why what the instructions say that LLVM is needed for. So I'll just try SW rest by itself. If it gets as far, then I know for certain that LLVM is actually required. Yeah, it's failed in the same place. Um, you can see that it looks like his own DGPU is used to uh, use this soft w, uh, SW rest because it's something I haven't defined. I've got R600 Radiant SI. Um, so I imagine if I set this to 915 or even Iris, for example, it would fail as it has been doing before. Let's try Iris, it's the newest one. Yep, it's the SWRS it's trying to build and it can't build that because of LLVM. Uh, 